Hey y'all, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. So this week, I'm going to be talking about essential oils for hair health. So yes, oils that will help stimulate hair growth, but also oils that will improve your scalp and hair conditions such as um, eczema, dermatitis, and dandruff. And you guys know that eczema is, is um, really important to me because I have it and I'm always looking for ways to improve it. So this video, I will list five oils and then a DIY pre poo recipe for your hair health. So what is an essential oil? An essential oil is a concentrated plant oil that is either distilled or pressed from the plant. It is highly aromatic and very volatile. They are called essential oils because they are the essence of the plant that they are derived from. There are over 90 essential oils that are beneficial for reducing stress, for reducing inflammation, for stimulating hair growth, and improving um, scalp and skin circulation. So let's go ahead and learn about five oils that I love, and then we'll get to mixing our recipe. So first on my list is geranium oil. Now, I was recently introduced to geranium oil because it has amazing benefits for healing your scalp. Geranium essential oil can regulate dryness, excess oil, and sebum production, which in turn has helped to grow people's hair long. All right, so next on the list is lemon oil. And actually, lemon oil has recently become my most favorite oil because I love the smell of lemon. And recently I found out actually that lemon oil has amazing benefits for um, reducing stress and anxiety, which are also um, can be triggers for hair loss. So alone, that alone, it makes lemon oil a great oil. But additionally, it has antiseptic and antimicrobial benefits that help heal um, acne, help heal dermatitis, and certain forms of, well, help heal dandruff and certain forms of dermatitis. So next on my list is peppermint oil. We all know that very pungent smell of peppermint oil and it has amazing benefits for not only like cooling the scalp down, but promoting hair growth. So that cooling stimulating sensation helps to direct blood to your hair follicles and that in turn help your hair to grow. It additionally also has antiseptic and antimicrobial benefits that are great for removing lice, dandruff, and other scalp-related conditions. Next on the list is lavender oil. This calming scent has been known to heal and soothe the body and the mind. It also has great antiseptic and antimicrobial properties, just like all the other before mentioned oils, and is also known as a great stress reliever. So if you're experiencing stress, we know stress can cause hair loss. So lavender along with lemon oil are great for reducing stress and anxiety. Last but not least is tea tree oil. And we all know tea tree oil has amazing antimicrobial, antibacterial benefits. It is great for um, healing uh, dandruff. It's great for healing funguses or any forms of dermatitis that may be caused by fungus on your scalp and skin. It has great cleansing properties, so it's great to add a few drops in your shampoo, as well as um, helping to unclog your pores from any excess dandruff or excess sebum that can um, prevent hair growth. So it also helps to stimulate hair growth by unclogging those pores. All right, so now that we learn about these five essential oils, it's important to learn how to use them because you cannot and let me repeat, you cannot use these directly on your scalp and skin. They always must be diluted with an carry oil before use. And I personally prefer to use a ratio of about 10 to 12 drops per quarter cup of oil, okay? Some carry oils that you can use are extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, coconut oil, and castor oil, okay? So let's go ahead and get to mixing our DIY pre-poo. So I'll begin with my carrier oil, adding a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil contains antioxidants that are great for healing the scalp. Next, I'll be using my sesame and amla oil 
and sesame oil is a ceramide which helps fill in the gaps in your hair shaft and amla oil contains lots of vitamin c which again is great for your hair and scalp i'll be adding one tablespoon of this oil next up for this oil is argan oil now this is an amazing oil that is known to hydrate and soften your hair. It provides antioxidants, essential fatty acids, and vitamin E, which help increase hair's elasticity and consistently restore shine to dull hair. Next, I'll be adding 10 to 12 drops of my lemon essential oil. Remember this oil has great antiseptic and antimicrobial properties and is effective for treating dandruff and scalp acne and improving blood circulation. Next, I'll be adding peppermint essential oil. This tingling, cool sensation that you get helps increase circulation to the scalp and promote hair growth. Gently shake these ingredients to combine and now you have your perfect essential hair growth oil so I'll gently heat this oil up using my double boiler and then apply this as a hot oil treatment to my scalp I will then massage my hair gently using the marma massage methods as I've shown in my previous video which I'll link up top for you guys and this is just my kind of me time 20 minutes of me time to help heal my scalp and hair and stimulate my hair follicles for a better growth. All right, so you can leave this oil on for a minimum of 20 minutes. You can use a plastic shower cap to help generate some heat in this, or you can use this recipe um, daily or every other day by just lightly oiling your scalp and massaging it and that will help, of course, um, stimulate your, your hair follicles and improve your hair health or whatever um, conditions, scalp conditions you may possibly have. So feel free to play around this recipe with whatever oils you have or whatever your hair um, needs, okay? And if you guys wanna learn more about um, essential oils, I have a real treat for you guys today. I've teamed up with Natural Hair Essential Oil Enthusiast, Attractor, who is my guest blogger today on my blog post, and she has created a wonderful list for you guys of essential oils and their uses. And she goes beyond just hair health. She talks about things for um, oils, essential oils that contain antibacterial properties, essential oils that are useful for itching, um, that are useful for migraines. So you definitely wanna go check out this post, you guys. And if you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll definitely team up with her about asking about this since she is way more advanced in <laughs> essential oils than I am. And if you guys have anything else you guys wanna see or, or know about essential oils, leave them as well in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video with anybody who is curious about essential oils. And that's it for today's Tip Tuesday. Um, I'll see you guys over on the blog at www.nowiamnappy.com. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.